Hello, in the series of quadratic applications, here is another problem. Well, this kind of situation comes very often. We sometimes have one pipe problem, two pipe problem, three pipes to fill up. Here, let's see what the problem is. Here it is like one pipe can fill a tank in five hours less than another. So there are two pipes, right? Together they fill the tank in six hours. How long would it take each alone to fill the tank right so we have a tank which is being filled by two pipes and when both are put together they can fill the whole tank in six hours so the thing you know how to tackle this kind of problem you have to think like this when both put together then the whole tank gets filled in six hours that means in one hour how much of the tank is filled one-sixth right in six hours full tank in one hour one-sixth correct this is how we are going to see now let's say one pipe fills it in x hours then in one hour how much will it fill one over x do you understand that this is how we are going to solve the problem and the second pipe when we say takes five hours less right so we can say that it fills the whole tank in let us say x plus 5 hours right so how much of the tank will it fill in one hour 1 over x plus 5 are you getting it okay now so let's define our uh, these pipes right let's say this is one pipe and that's the speed with which this fills is let's say x and then we have a narrower pipe narrower pipe and say speed it takes more time right so x plus five time it takes to fill the whole tank do you understand so one pipe can fill the tank in five hours less this is five hours less than this do you see than another do you understand my concept why i'm writing like this so i'm saying that this is five hours less than this the other one takes x plus five do you understand that's the strategy which i have taken for this and now i will find uh, with a faster one right so which takes less time is it okay therefore now when they work together then how much of the tank is filled with this pipe correct this is what you have to visualize so with this pipe it will be one x right so it is one over x will be filled with this pipe in one hour and with this pipe it will be one over x plus five correct and in all in one hour they will do one sixth of the tank do you understand because in six hours they will do one full of the tank correct in a one hour one sixth of the tank so that is how we get our equation do you understand so we say let the time taken by the larger pipe be x hours right the smaller will take five hours more which is x plus five which also confirms our statement in a different way one pipe fill a tank in five hours less so this takes five hours less than that do you understand that's the whole concept which i'm going to use it is all up to you how you define your variables and then do it right okay now this is the equation we have only one variable so now we can get rid of denominator and solve it so let's multiply each with the common denominator and the common denominator for us is 6x into x plus 5 correct so we'll multiply each term with this get rid of the denominator then there will be a simple quadratic equation to solve so we get here one will get multiplied by these two so let me start from here we get six times x plus five correct plus here one will get multiplied by six and x we get six x and this one gets multiplied by these two factors right so it is x times x plus five so that's our equation to solve without any denominator or fraction parts so let's expand this we get 6x plus 30 plus 6x equals to x square 
plus 5x. Let's bring all the terms together. I'll prefer to take these terms on that side. I need to keep this positive, right? It's good to keep coefficient of x squared is positive. So I'll write x squared plus 5x and these are 6 and 6 12 so let me take 12x minus and this is minus 30 for me correct that's it and now let's combine the like terms so we get x squared and this is minus 7x minus 30 correct now do you have any combination product and sum you know factoring techniques are most important here so we need product of two numbers as minus 30 and sum of two numbers as minus 7 so the numbers should be a different sign bigger number negative right so it's minus 10 and plus 3 correct that gives us 30 and 7 so we can write this in the factored form that is x minus 10 times x plus 3 now this can be 0 only if x equals to plus 10 right so that gives us x equals to plus 10 and this gives us x equals to minus 3 well our rate of filling cannot be negative so this is not permitted right but this is okay so we'll say x is 10 when one pipe which is the bigger one and faster one takes 10 hours to fill alone the other one takes 10 plus 5 do you understand so so how much time how long would it take each alone to fill so the answer could be written as each alone will take 10 hours right and 10 plus 5 15 hours respectively right that's okay so that's our answer for this question I hope you understand the strategy once you understand that's very easy to do otherwise to visualize the very first statement is very difficult okay we'll do some more on these kinds of problems we are, we are filling in a swimming pool or things like that and then you'll get more practice on this okay I hope you understand the process thank you